So co-working spaces are uh, basically places that uh, are shared office spaces. Um, they bring people together. In our case, we have a co-working space that's also a conference center, an event space, an art gallery, and a maker space. The co-working space, especially in rural settings, is uh, a bit of a different environment than what you'd see in urban settings. We believe that it's kind of a center for economic development in our rural regions. It serves as a place for people to access high-speed internet. Uh, office amenities that might not be accessible to a small business or a uh, solopreneur or freelancer or remote worker and it offers community in places where sometimes it's hard to, to find it. We really love being in Vermont. It really is the quality of life. We know we want to have a software company that's centered around drones because it's an emerging market. And we just we were trying to figure out what would fit best within the state of Vermont. And so when you start looking at applying the technologies, forestry was a really good fit. We use remote sensing technology and a combination of the software that we developed to create a view of the world. So our, our goal and our product is to um, to have models to be able to predict health of the forest. A lot of people say that the technology only happens in urban settings. I would definitely disagree with that. I think you know, where technology can make the biggest impact is in rural communities where they have been left behind. And you know, really looking at technology not as a uh, you know, savior for the communities, but as a tool to be able to help you know, people transform existing businesses. The co-working space uh, makes a lot of sense for Lindenville because we are in a region that has very poor internet access. Many residents that live in um, the kind of outskirts of town don't have sufficient internet to do video conferencing. So being able to give people a place to come that is in the center of our town while also providing uh, the highest speed internet that's available um, is a great draw. Broadband is a huge issue. It's our second biggest line item on our budget. I think that for rural communities to thrive, not just in Vermont, but across the United States, there has to be people willing to innovate on the existing models and markets. Um, and I think that rural communities have done it for generations, and now we need to look to uh, modern technology for the uh, kind of assist on the next pivot that we're making. It just takes one building and one person to transform some old decrepit building. They can help um, transform more buildings or more parks or um, start new programs that get people out of their houses and, and together. It's actually something that could change the communities they live in.